I want to talk about our collective amnesia. Collective amnesia. We're up in arms about Mike Brown, and we should be. We should be. A couple of years ago, we were up in arms about Trayvon Martin. A couple of weeks ago, we were up in arms about Garner, who was killed by the New York City police. All right, but how many of y'all even remember or even know about this story right here? Another unarmed African-American teen shot and killed by the police. His name was Denzel Cornell. Denzel Cornell, who had just finished basic training so that he could fight for the United Snakes, for the goddamn white man. I said it. I know some of my friends won't like that very much, but it is what it is. I'll keep saying it until it's not true anymore. All right. So, this brother had just completed basic training. He had just completed his basic training. Okay? And he wanted to travel in the military. He wanted to get married and have children. But his life was cut down at an early age. This man was shot while kneeling with no weapon. Denzel Cornell. Denzel Cornell. But we have collective amnesia. Next week it'll be another team. It'll be another African American man, black man, African man, killed by the police. Brother Denzel Cornell was shot and killed in Charleston, South Carolina. Shot and killed. This is a man that just finished basic training. This is a man that uh, pledged allegiance to the flag of the United Snakes of America. He pledged allegiance to the rag of the United Snakes of America. But guess what? That didn't stop him from getting gunned down in cold blood. Denzel Cornell just completed basic training. Charleston, South Carolina, 19-year-old brother, shot and killed while being, while kneeling and unarmed. What was that about by the police? You've got to be kidding me. Collective amnesia. Collective amnesia. This just happened at the end of June. June 26th. If I have the date correct, June 26th, he's standing there with his white friend in a picture here from basic training, from the military. Your white friends better come out in arms. Better be protesting just as much as you're protesting. See, they should be just as outraged as you are. Denzel Cornell, shot and killed by the police in Charleston, South Carolina. After completing basic training. After completing basic training, he pledged allegiance to the rag of the United Snakes of America. But while kneeling unarmed, he shot and killed by the police. Shot and killed by the police. But things have changed. We don't have to worry about what we had to worry about in the 1860s, in 1900, 1930, 1950, 1960, 1970, 80, 90, 2000. We don't have to worry about that in 2014. What are you all fighting for? Just forget. Forgive and forget. Our young men are getting gunned down today. In 2014, not 1914, not 1814, 2014, by the police department, some police officers have been targeted by the police because they were dressed in plain clothes. If that black man takes off his police uniform, he just may become a target. 
by the very police that he worked for. This man pledged allegiance to the rag of the United Snakes of America. And he was killed by the United Snakes police. You say, well, the United Snakes police, Doc, you got it all wrong. It was Charleston, South Carolina police, a police department in the United Snakes of America. We have collective amnesia. So today, it's Mike Brown. Last month, it was Garner in New York. In June, it was Denzel Cornell. Who will it be next week? And what will we do about it? That is the question. What are we going to do to not respond to another unarmed African-American teen shot and killed by the police? What will we do to prevent another unarmed African-American teen from being shot and killed by the police? This has been Daku, a Cabo Wakatu.